Hello and welcome. My name is Scott, and in this video series, we are going to take a look at the plugins coming from Sound Toys. Now, I absolutely love this group of plugins. Not only are they highly customizable, they're easy to use, but they also feel really good. They feel musical. And I find myself coming back to them over and over and over again to make my mix a little more magical and just feel over the top. So let's kick the series off with one of my favorites, and that is the Decapitator. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of outboard hardware to play around with, to get some tones and some drive from. But luckily, the guys at Sound Toys do. And somehow, they've figured out what makes hardware sound magical when you give it a little bit of drive. And that's exactly what Decapitator is. It's an emulation of pushing hardware into saturation. So it's not just an overdrive, it's not a distortion plugin. It reacts, and it's dynamic to whatever you're sending it. So here's the interface, and they've strategically made the most important, or I'd say maybe the most fun knob, the large one on the left. This is the drive knob. And just by turning this up, it's going to bring a smile to your face. So here I have a drum stem. Let's hit play after turning the loop on. And with a default setting, we're just going to turn up the drive and see what we get. So this is dry. Activate the plugin and just turn up the drive. And already, with one parameter change, we're getting some love for these drums. Now, we also have a punish button, and this is just kicking up the gain in one big step. So watch what happens. So we can absolutely destroy the audio that we're sending it. You'll notice we have auto turned on. This is an auto output control. So when I turn up the drive, the output is being turned down. We also have the ability to mix back in the dry signal so we can preserve some transients and some of the original audio. Next we have some tone control, some EQ control in the middle here. Now the low cut and the tone knob are pre-drive, so we're actually going to be reducing the lows or changing the EQ before it gets to the drive section. The high cut is after the drive. So we can roll off some of those harmonics that that drive is creating. The low cut has a thump, and this is basically just boosting around the setting of the frequency. So if we have the frequency set to 130 hertz with the thump turned on, we're just boosting that area just a little bit. The tone knob is just turning up the highs and turning down the lows when we turn it to bright, and vice versa when we turn it to dark. And the high cut is a standard low pass filter. The steep switch, currently with it turned off, it's a 6 dB per octave high cut. With it turned on, it now turns into a 30 dB per octave high cut. All right, so enough talking. Let's get in there and actually listen to what this plugin can do. I'm just going to mess around and see what we come up with. Work on some of that low end in the kick. Maybe we want to work on the beater a little bit. Mix back in some of the dries here. Let's just bypass it real fast. Okay.
So that's just messing around with a drum stem. Imagine if you use this on just the snare track, or just the overheads, or just the kick. There are tons and tons of applications and uses. You can even use this as just an EQ. So maybe turn the drive down and uh, sculpt some sounds with just the EQ section. Now at the bottom, we have some style buttons. And these are representing five different hardware emulations. So the A is representing an Ampex 350 tape machine preamp, very popular back in the uh, 50s and 60s, I believe. The E stands for an EMI TG channel, so that's an EQ and preamp piece of gear. The N is for a Neve 1057. The T is an emulation of the Thermionic Culture Culture Vulture, and that's with it set to the triode mode, so it's giving us even harmonics. And the P is the same piece of gear, the Culture Vulture, set to the pentoed mode, so it's giving us odd harmonics, just a little different flavor. So I'm going to set this to something, we'll figure something out, and I will audition the different styles, and you can hear they affect the tone and the quality and the flavor of the drums. Maybe we'll start with something like that. Go to E for the EMI. So we have a couple different flavors we can choose from when working with these drums. So I like something like that. Let's move on to a bass. So here we have a bass track, and we got the decapitator bypassed. And this is a setting I just came up with, and I'm going to turn it on. It just instantly brings something to that track. Hear the drum and bass together. And here I have a lead line. And I want to show you what I'm doing with this along with a return track. So I have a delay, a very simple, clean delay. It's kind of like a slap backy delay. And I put a decapitator on that return track. And I'll tell you why in a second. We have uh, the lead line. And here's the decapitator on that. Turn it on. Just bringing more clarity with that EQ section. And let's send it to that delay. And watch what happens to that delay when I turn this decapitator on. We're sculpting out some of the high and lows here with the EQ section. We've just brought it forward in that mix. Now I want to show you what happens when we put it in the mix. We won't be able to hear that delay really with the other guitars and drums. And watch this delay just pop out and have its place in the mix. So 
So finally, I have a Rhodes software synth loaded onto the last track here. And the decapitator is just adding some dirt and grit to make this sound um, old and like it's coming maybe through an old preamp. First, let's hear it with it turned off. And then with it on. And one of the really cool things about this device, this plugin, is that it reacts to the dynamic range that we can send it. So that's the decapitator and just a few applications. Imagine this on your vocals, on your individual drum tracks, or even your master track. I challenge you to experiment with it and just bring love, warmth, and clarity to your mixes. See you in the next video.